So, starting off from a pack, because um, I'm aiming for a, a maximum pack weight with all food and water and gear and everything, even for the longest stretch of only probably 11, 11 half kilos, but most commonly around only 10 kilos. I've gone for a MLD, a Mountain Laurel Designs uh, Cuban Fiber 48 litre profit pack. It's a frameless uh, pack uh, made of Cuban fiber. It's um, really well made. Um, over the last few years, I've, when I first get, got back into hiking again, I went from a three kilo uh, aching hiking pack down to 1.8 kilos with my uh, Osprey Atmos uh, 52 liter pack, um, which was a great pack. But um, and really comfortable, but just really heavy. And then graduated to an Osprey Z, um, Osprey Exos uh, 48 litre pack, again, which is a really really good pack. It's only 1.1 kilos. Um, I think it's the definitely the peak of the Ospreys, and uh, a really really comfortable pack. Um, the best one you can get off the shelf at the moment, and good for up to 16, 17, even 18 kilo pack weights, despite what they tell you in the shop. Um, and then last year and more recently over the last 12 months for most of my hiking I've been using a Z-Pax Arc Blast 52 litre um, which is only about 600 grams uh, and that, the Arc Blast is great for loads up to 16-17 kilos uh, I've had 15 kilos in it comfortably um, when we started off the South Coast track in Tassie Mostly I've been using it for 12, 13 kilo loads when I was on the PCT last year. But for the bib, um, on my end to end this year, I'm really um, targeting sort of a 9.5, 10, 11 kilo type range. And the uh, a frameless pack like this MLD should really cope quite well. Um, it's um, only weighs about 450 grams. I've added a pack or Cuban fiber pack lid which is basically the one off my Z packs arc blast uh, I like that in terms of organizing things like uh, sat phone PLB uh, head torch uh, maps stuff that are used during the day just from an organization point of view um, it's got a couple of good hip pockets which uh, made from the grid stop uh, Cuban material and a uh, really good mesh for rain gear, tarp, etc. And two pockets for water bottles on either side. And I uh, have more than enough space from a 48 litre volume on the inside. I've also used from the Z Packs pack, whoops, no, I haven't put the hooks on yet, um, a uh, Cuban fiber wallet pouch just to put money and, and uh, valuable type stuff on the inside. So, uh, yeah, 450 grams uh, with everything ready to go, nice and light. So, um, I reckon that'll do the trick. One of the really big advantages of using the Cuban. Uh, Cuban fiber based packs and stuff sacks and even the shelter in terms of the tarp and ground sheets and stuff uh, Not only is it a material that is really light um, And it is also 100% waterproof. So with a roll top um, top to the pack which we've got um, and um, It's Cuban fiber main body it's 100% um, waterproof, so I don't even need to use a bag liner. Uh, I've got individual dry bags for key things like this uh, sleeping bag, sleeping mat, and my clothing. Um, but it's, yeah, I've had it in, had my other Cuban pack in pouring rain, and it, it doesn't leak. It's 100% waterproof. So you've got something that's super light and 100% waterproof. Um, as well so it's it's a win-win using cuban fiber packs i know some people talk about durability but i don't see that as an issue to be honest they're, they're quite tough they're well made and more and more packs coming out of the states these days uh tend to be in cuban fiber or dyneema um, composite which is another word that you'll see when you're looking at stuff on the web then with my sleep system 
because um, that's the other area where you can save quite a lot of weight. Uh, bag wise, again I'm using Z packs, uh, a 10 Fahrenheit uh, mummy bag which I used over the last 12 months. It's um, uh, very light, very warm and comfortable. It's really good down to about uh, zero degrees centigrade, I reckon. Uh, once you start dropping below about three or four degrees centigrade, you're going to have to start adding layers onto yourself. Um, but um, yeah, I think it's fine for a bib end to end. And then, and it, it's only uh, 600 and just over 600 grams uh, with its Cuban fiber stuff set as well. So it, it's it's very light. Uh, but very comfortable does the job. Uh, looking at the sleep mat, it took me a little while to settle on what was best to use. Um, started off with sort of the traditional uh, self-inflating, closed, foamy type sort of Thermarest. Um, then moved to uh, one of the Thermarest Neo Airs, but I started off with a regular, um, a regular short. I tried as well and the regulars were just too narrow unfortunately so I've got the large and the large is great it's really comfortable because I sort of move around a bit in my sleep it's wide enough uh, it's more longer than what I actually need uh, but it's it's really the width I wish they made a regular length in a wide width and I would buy one in a heartbeat that's um, Nice and comfy, light, uh, weighs I think from memory about 430 grams or something like that. I also use the little Neo Air pump which is only um, another 75 grams approximately. We, when you add the two batteries that pumps it up, stops you from tiring yourself out blowing it up but also more importantly stops putting humid moist air into the inside of the bag which then goes mouldy and yucky. And I put the it into a um, see the summit four liter nano uh, dry bag. Uh, these see the summit dry bags are great. They're really really light. This one's only about 16 grams. I get the uh, Ultra Seal Nano, which is the lightest version. You don't can't get them in the shops very easy, uh, but I've been able to get them online. I'm not sure why they don't sell them in the shops. Shops. Uh, you can get the normal Ultra Seal ones, but not the Ultra Seal Nanos, which are the really light ones. And they're they're a great dry bag um, for putting stuff like this in. Uh, so that's my sleeping mat. In terms of a pillow, what I tend to use, I also use another Ultra Seal Nano dry bag, Cedar Summit dry bag, an eight liter one to put my spare clothes in, like my thermals, um, a Polytech top socks and things like that and then I use that as a pillow at night put my unused clothes in that and usually put my Polytech top over the top of it if it's going to be colder where I'm likely to be using my Polytech top etc then in those situations I'll take this uh, little Hyperlite dry bag it's a uh, Cuban fiber dry bag that's got felt on one side and then I'll stuff that with clothes um, usually my my, my sleep clothes sort of type stuff and um, use that as the pillow it's also Cuban fiber so it's 100% waterproof so that makes it a dry bag as well but for the bib I don't think I'm going to need that um, I'll just go with my normal using the dry bag as the pillow so that, that's my sleep system and uh, pretty comfortable with it